Hey guys, what's up? It's Brufio here and today I'm gonna show you my secret vocal mixing trick. If you know that trick, I think your mixes will be at least 10% better than today. For me it was a total game changer, I must admit it was a total game changer and suddenly my vocals fit in in the music, everything was bedded in. Let's dive in, I will show you. Just record a quick vocal take with some fantasy lyrics and you can copy my template of course let me know if it works for you let's go okay so as you can see here is my universal audio apollo console i will record my vocals here you can see what i'm using here's the little text i made and here's my instrumental parts so let's make some reverb yeah, i'm just getting started i will always want more I give everything I have to show you that it is working. It is one of my favorite plugins, but this is not a paid ad. Let me bypass it now, and my vocal mix will be sad. Okay, so vocal mix will be sad when I bypass this plugin. What you can hear is now that I have all the instruments and then my vocals. And now I'm gonna show you my trick. So usually you would bus all the instruments to, to buses. I would also do that. So drum bus and then keys bus and then guitars bus. I have these three buses here. And what I can do now is if I have all my buses from the instruments grouped to the instrument track and all my vocals to the all vocals track. So they go separate here into their buses. Let's get rid of all the tracks visually. Now you only see all my vocals, instruments, submix. And what we do now is put the track spacer plugin onto the instrument bus. Here it is. In default, it comes with my uh, settings. I will show you later. What we are doing now is we sidechain this plugin to your vocals. So all vocals. Now you can see it. Let me bypass it now and my vocal mix will be sad. Okay, now you see what it's doing, okay? So the magical thing about track spacer is it makes in the track you need space for your vocals in this case. You can also do this with of course with bass and kick. Just for vocals in this case it's amazing, it's magical, okay? If you click here on this little and this little icon here you can go to the advanced panel and this is what my settings are for vocals i panned it 100 uh, percent to the middle because it's vocals i will make it ms mid side you can uh, use my settings here but it depends on the song of course and no side chain so if you go out here now you see the frequencies which getting reduced in the instrument track so the vocal frequencies are not in, in a fight with the instruments it's very important so let's just go from 0 to 100 to make it r really obvious Started, i will always want more i give everything i have to show you that it is working it is one of my favorite plugins but this is not a paid ad so hopefully you listen with headphones or good monitor speakers because we, we said mid-side. So we went to the middle, so it will only affect, of course, because our vocal is straight up in the middle, it will only affect the frequencies in the middle of the instrument. So let's say a kick drum. A kick drum, of course, is very low, but it's, it's the same with all the instruments, pads and stuff like this. If a guitar, electric guitar, is in the middle, it will also make some space for the vocals. So the instruments on the side will always be big and full and all the stuff. But the vocal in the middle will have enough space to be heard. You don't have to make it louder, 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 louder. So just make it very nice from the beginning on. Mix it, put, put on your reverb, delays, etc. And then put on track spacer. And you will see how, how it works for you. Okay? So I love this plugin, it's on my template and a default setting like this. I will always mix into it like on 20% and then now we move it so it gets obvious and then we pull it back a little bit to make it very nice, okay? I 
hope you hear the same. It's just, just magical, okay? Just amazing sidechain reduction of frequencies. It's like a multiband compressor, but works in a different way here. When I find my level, I just try to make the voice obvious, but don't reduce too much because if you reduce too much, it's really horrible, like with every plugin. So hopefully this was helpful to you. You saw why it's for me a magical plugin and there are cheap versions as well, but I don't think you can get this result so easy without Trackspacer. Just wait till it's for sale. I think I grabbed it for $70. If you want to invest in a plugin, that's a very good way. Don't buy 100 compressor plugins and 100 EQ plugins. Just buy Trackspacer, one good EQ, one good compressor. Learn it in and out and your mixes will get better. See you in the next video tutorial. If it was helpful to you, leave a comment. Tell me what you think and we'll see you in the next one. Peace out.